power of the Lord. But this morning, if you're here and you're not a follower, you might want to listen to what Jesus had to say there in those scriptures. And by comparing the other scriptures, we come up with the different thing that it has to be daily, that we must take up our cross and follow him. Be my follower, Jesus said. If you want to be my follower, we have to do something, don't we? We can't just say, yeah, I'm... I'm a Christian. I'm a member of Maranatha Baptist Church. That's not enough, is it? You see, we've got to back up a little bit and look at what Jesus is saying here in this scripture and why it's so important for him. He not only asked his disciples, but the crowds that had gathered around with them. Jesus was here again giving the people, as well as his disciples, the information that he was going to have to suffer and die. They didn't believe that Jesus could do this. And uh, that's why he said, if anyone wants to be my follower, there is something that we have to do, isn't there? I think we sing a song quite often that has something to do with take up your cross and follow me. Does anybody know what that song is? Must Jesus bear the cross alone and all the world go free? You see, Christ paid an awful price as he died upon the cross for you and I? How much is your soul worth? Must Jesus bear the cross alone and all the world go free? No. The song says, there's a cross for everyone and there's a cross for me. We all have a cross to bear. Jesus wanted his disciples and all those listening to his voice that they had a cross to bear. And now was the time to take that cross up because he was going to have to go to the cross and suffer and die, but he was going to rise again. And then the kingdom would begin. Who's to take the kingdom to the world when Jesus died on that cross? They thought he was their king. He, they thought that he was going to build this great kingdom and they'd be part of it right along with him. And so as Jesus began to tell them that he was going to have to die and that was to fulfill Scripture in the Old Testament. And that's how we know as we compare the Scriptures and as we look back into the Old Testament and see that this is fulfillment, God's plan being unfolded. Jesus said, I'm telling you now, this is my first instance of the death and the suffering that I'm going to have to go to through with. And then through the rest of his ministry until he was hung on that cross, Jesus began to unfold before them the plan of his death and the kingdom that was to be established on earth and the part that they as his disciples were to play the part that we are to play if we take up our cross and follow him. Well, I think when we think about following Jesus, and that's what he said, we come to the, the very pinnacle 
of uh, salvation experience, the ABCs of how to be saved, and it's written there in that scripture. If you want to be my follower, you must turn from your selfish way. The disciples were thinking only about the kingdom, only about the place that they would play, who would be the leader and who would sit at the right or the left hand of Jesus in his kingdom. They weren't considering all of the other things that were involved in this new kingdom that, God, that Christ Jesus was attempting to set up. And so be my follower. To be his follower, we must accept Jesus as our Savior, as the Lord of our life. So accept Jesus, that's the A of the plan of salvation. Then he goes on to say, uh, you must turn from your selfish ways. To accept Jesus, we must realize that we have to turn from something to Jesus. So we must have to remember that he died for our sins, and so we must turn from our sinful nature to accept Jesus. You must believe that he is the Savior. Believe is the B in the ABCs of salvation. We must believe in Jesus to be God's Son who came to die on the cross that we might have salvation. If Jesus would not have paid the price, we would not be free. What a price God gave for you and I. Not only must we accept Jesus and believe that Jesus is God's Son, but we have to confess. That's the C, confess. That Jesus is Lord of our life. He's the one that changes me. I confess that I am turning from the old way, that I'm no longer a sinner because I believe and accept Jesus as Lord and Savior. And we must do that before God and the church. We must do that before everyone to let everyone know I am doing away with my old selfish selfishness. I am accepting Jesus. I am taking up my cross to follow him. For we are lost without Jesus. Unless we accept, unless we believe, unless we confess, we are lost. Now I like the way Luke puts this, for he says daily. We have to do it daily. Get rid of our selfish ways. Take up your cross daily and follow me. And what does that mean? 